everyone. Welcome to another episode with To Die For Games. I'm Mandy, the board gaming pinup girl. I'm also here with... Tracy, the gaming maven. And I'm Steph, the games teacher. Today, we've got some fun stuff for you. We are taking a look at the BitBox by... Game Ovations. We have two versions set out for you. We have the BitBox and the BitBox Mobile. So we're gonna head over to that end of the table and Stefan's gonna talk about the BitBox. So the BitBox is a board game storage solution uh, made of uh, cardboard and it's designed in this format to fit uh, some of the more common board gamer shelves, uh, the IKEA shelves uh, Expedit or Kallax. Uh, so it's a 13, I believe, by 13 square. Um, as you can see, if Tracy would do the honors of pulling out, there's a couple of um, boxes here to store board games, or sorry, not board games, but the game boards, rather. Um, and also a number of smaller boxes, kind of just like that, exactly. And a number of smaller boxes to store all the various uh, game components, whether it be cards or, or uh, wooden tokens or anything at all. Quite nicely. In different sizes, they have come with different dividers as well. Uh, this version of the BitBox is designed to store 13 to 16 games, mm -hmm. uh, whereas normally on, a, on our Kallax shelf at home, uh, we're lucky if we can get five or six in that same space. Yeah, so um, as long as you don't mind temporarily uh, putting away the board game boxes themselves mm -hmm. and having them out of sight, it's a much more efficient way to store your board games and get more uh, games crammed into that same amount of space. And the great thing about it is you can label what game parts are actually in this, so you'll know what's in here, and you'll also know which of these is carrying like Small World or Karuba, for example. So you don't have to go looking, you'll know exactly what's in each box. Yeah, which is nice. Or just, just like that. Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> so now that we've talked about the BitBox, we're going to move on to the BitBox Mobile. So this is great if you're on the go, as the name kind of suggests. So we're going to pull that back a little bit. I love the inside. That's kind of what caught my eye. That's so cool. So I feel bad. Tracy's kind of the assistant today as she discusses. <laughs> so I'm going to get her to pull out the insert here so you can talk a little bit about that. So again, we have the same insert similar to these where you'll fit the flat, usually the game boards themselves and any player board. Or the rule books. Here. Yeah, rule books, exactly. Rule books too, yeah. exactly. And it's a nice size, like it's wide. So, because there's some boards that are not small. They're very long. This probably fit Concordia mats and everything. Yeah, exactly. And then now uh, we'll pull these ones out. Similar to the... Yeah, this one's a bit of a pull. Juicy, trying to get it out of there. It's only because we have a handle that's here, so you just have to be careful. There we so go. similar. Yeah, so this one has two boxes instead of the three. But same concept as with the home version. Mm -hmm. And you can mix and match to fit boxes, to pull the boxes mm -hmm. out of this and put them right sure. into the portable storage unit to take with you to board game night. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So I thought that one was pretty neat and that would definitely serve a good purpose for those who have a lot of those board game nights and don't want to bring tons and tons of board games. So, oh, one more. There we go. So that is really it for that. So now we can talk about, I guess, give our opinion or our review. So um, I know for this version, this one actually appeals to someone like me. Uh, I don't have shelf space that would actually fit that. So that's a concern of mine for people like me who have shelves that are not as deep. Um, but I think something like this I would definitely use because going to a game night, oh my gosh, it's so hard to lug up with like 10 games in a bag and trying to go find a bag big enough to fit them all. This is perfect because I can fit, I think this one fits, uh, Eight to ten, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's right, eh? Yeah, six yeah. to eight to ten. Six, right eight, yeah, that, a good so number of games. You get a good amount of games in there. I mean, obviously, if you're going to be playing with like games like The Gallerist, which I highly doubt you're bringing eight of those games to one game night, you know, then maybe this won't fit. You'll get maybe three in there. But overall, I like that that idea. I love the um, idea of the organizing and the labeling. So you can label them, and you can even sticker over them if you change it. Mm -hmm. So what did you guys... Well, we do have the Calyx shelves, so this is actually perfect for us in that regard. The only thing for me is I like box art, and as <laughs> inefficient as this is compared to this, this is so much more efficient. I do like the art. I know so many people, though, that don't really care about right. collecting the boxes, so this would fit a lot more for them, and they'd probably appreciate right. this for if you have limited space. I'm the same with Tracy. Um, again, like the efficiency aspect of this kind of would be missing the box art if I'm out at a game night and the box isn't available or on the table. So if 
you know, you could kind of maybe photocopy the box art and print out color copies, but eh, eh. So for me, I would go with the, the, travel, the travel one because yeah. this would think, be very handy. I think the travel one would be useful for, for bringing to game nights for sure. Yeah, and I mean, we're also artistic people. I mean, we take pictures of games at game night, so it's nice when you have the box. So, I mean, for us, I mean, that's not the case for most people. Most people would probably like something like this to organize their games. Something else I wanted to mention was the material. So up in or here in Canada, they call it the Great White North for a reason. Yes, they do. We do tend to get snow and weird rain like we've had the past sleet. few days and sleet and all kinds of stuff. And my concerns, most specifically with the, the mobile version, is that maybe someone who doesn't drive and has to take the bus and, you know, in that kind of weather, this I do not think will hold up. I know it's a little, you can tell that it does have right. some weather resistance to it, but if it's prolonged exposure, I could see it starting to wear and starting to absorb into these little edges and stuff. So it is a concern. Right. It'd be nice if um, there was, you know, a vinyl overcoat to right. go on the box or something like that. Right. So there's definitely an easy solution to it. So we're just basing it off of what we received to talk about with you. But yes, absolutely. I think if you have weather conditions like we have, something to cover would be a really good idea. So that was really it. Um, I don't know. Did you guys have any other suggestions or things to talk about or? No, uh, I also noticed on the Kickstarter for mm -hmm. this that there was a couple of things you could do like the label boxes were different colors and sizes yeah. plain. So I like that they cool. made things a little bit more customizable for people who wanted some, a little bit more color, a little more flair to these. I think maybe offering maybe a little slightly higher price, some funky colors on these. It might, yeah, you might cool. reduce the missing of this art, art box if you have nice pretty and not just black. Right. Or even companies, like, you know, if we had like our logo, like right there. <laughs> I'd take that to a con, why not? <laughs> exactly. So, uh, Steph, anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I would get use out of this uh, in the home, uh, maybe less so. I could see using the mobile box again, mostly for, you know, going out and having board games either at friends' places or in public spaces. Right. Um, but again, the, the weather here in Canada is a bit of a concern. Um, may not be the case in all, all geographies. So. Exactly. So overall, I think we are saying yay for the bit box. <laughs> I think it's definitely a great way to organize and to travel with games. You guys on the same page? Fantastic mm -hmm. idea. Awesome. So check out the Kickstarter. It's on now. And that's it for us. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.